Hey, thank you for joining me for Thereafter. It's a free game that you can find on Steam. I'll make sure and link it below so you can find it for yourself. She's... Okay. Well, there's a little... Okay, you can jump down. There she goes. Alright, the animation's not the smoothest, but I can forgive. Oh. Are we... are we chasing that? Any, um, it's over in an air duct. I feel like with all the... Between Shadows of Doubt and now this, I'm spending a lot of time in air ducts. I need to interact. I picked this up for reasons unknown. It's definitely not stray animation, but it's okay. I can forgive it. <laughs> Got its charm in the animation. No, oh, no, it's not pushing. Oh. and put the board blocking the uh, fan. I guess that makes sense. Oh, now we're in an office building. With messy humans. Uh, beware the butterfly. The choices you make has consequences. Coming September 12th. Alright. Interacting with. I don't think we know. Oh, the light. Go that way. It doesn't jump that way. I guess I'm supposed to go this way. Alright, little kitten. You gotta jump on you. You've been unlocked the alley. Butterfly. Hello, butterfly. Catch the butterfly? Does the butter- oh. <laughs> butterfly, come back! Okay, better idea. <laughs> I thought I let it come to me. one. I don't know if I... There was one in the alley. I don't... supposed to catch that or not. Push. Go. What's up, cat? Meow. What are you doing here? I thought cats weren't allowed in casinos. What? But you're just a cat. 
Wait, so you can understand me? Meow. Well, I hate to break it to you, but I'm as dead as a doornail. It all started when I came here with my wife back in 03. We bought this apartment together and started gambling in Vegas for quite a while. Eventually, we won it all. We ended up rich and famous, with the whole world at our fingertips. That was until her life was cut short. I got depressed and, well, I drank myself to death, to put it simply. He goes silent for a minute and looks blankly at the wall in front of him. Harry, I miss you so much. He throws back a swig from his bottle. Sometimes I look over and I expect to see Sherry sitting next to me, but then I remember he's gone. He was so great at card games, we used to play them together all the time. Say, would you want to play a round of Go Fish with me? It was one of Sherry's favorites. He's not matched any with me. Say about that. For twos. Frank's turn. And we win. Ooh. You got hooked. I think it's time I head out. I need to stretch these old legs and do something productive for a change. Besides, Sherry would want me to. He goes to grab a drink from the bottle next to him. As he puts it down on the coffee table and begins to stand up, the scene is interrupted by a womanly voice coming from the other side of the room. Frank looks at the portal across from him, stunned. 
His eyes go huge and a big smile forms on his face. You lost a game of go fish to a cat, Frank. She laughs as Frank stumbles for a second before running through the portal and hugging Sherry. Oop, sorry, dived close above a cat butt. Hello, who's there? Oh, it's just a cat. Well, aren't you adorable? She checks for a collar, but doesn't find one. Hmm, no name? I'll call you Kayla. Alina laughs nervously as the cat walks around and rubs against her. You look pretty hungry. What do you say? I whip up a fresh batch of catnip. Would you like that? Wait, you can understand me? Yeah. Say, could you assist me with something? It would be of a great help. Great, please, come with me. Can you go down there and take a look at these pipes? They're blocked, and I'm not sure how to turn the valves back on. Okay. I've lived in the town of Summerfield as long as I can remember. It was once a beautiful town, teeming with flowers and trees around every corner. A few years ago, I moved away for work. A while after I moved away, I decided to attend the Wood Rock Festival in New Brook City. The final day I was there, I realized how much I enjoyed the environment around me, the people, the scenery, and the music being played. I even met a friend there named Luna. Luna was interested in plants and loved everything about them. She taught me all I needed to know about botany, and I eventually became infatuated with plants. Sadly, Luna had to move to another country. After Luna moved away, I realized I made enough money to retire, and that's when I ended up back home again. I found a nice house and quit my job the week after. When I arrived back in Summerfield, however, I saw that the land was barren and the colors were dark and gloomy. It looked more like a barren uh, desert than a beautiful lush town. A malicious corporation had taken the water away from the area and driven away many of the citizens out. Even so, I did not end up leaving town. I fought the company for many years and eventually got rid of them. When they were gone, I started to regrow the greenery and the vegetation, but I couldn't figure out how the water was supposed to work. But I couldn't give up. I am still fighting to restore this town and helping it come back to its former glory. I was trying to catch the butterfly and actually quit, accidentally stopped her from talking at one point, which was my bad. Come on. Here we go. Hopefully I'm not stuck. Don't be stuck, little cat. I'm so sorry I made you. Okay. Ooh. He gets up on those little uh, built up areas and gets kind of stuck up there.
go now. This way. You did it! You really did it! Come back and see this. It's wonderful. Definitely did it. Thank you so very much for your help. I couldn't have done it without you. I wonder how these plants grew so quickly. Well, I'm pretty tired, so I'm going to go and relax for a while and take a rest. Alina smiles at the cat as she walks up to her house, and then the portal opens in her stead. You've restored this town to its former glory, and I couldn't be more thankful. Take care of it while I'm gone. Luda would want you to. That's the portal for us to walk through. I j just want to triple check and make sure that there's not, like, not a butterfly or... Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, that got weird. Are these all, uh... These just copy and paste of each other? No, I think I missed the butterfly that was in the alley. I hadn't realized that I needed to touch it. Oh, you could actually see the invisible wall. <laughs> Not so invisible. Alright, it's probably safe for us to leave then. Since we got the butterfly. Oh, we're in a hospital. Am I interacting? Not 100% sure what am I interacting with. Second for butterflies. You can kind of angle your camera in the wrong way. I didn't see where the ghost went. Where did the... Wait, I can't... It's hard to tell. Is that a pain meter? It is a pain meter on the uh, wall there. Interesting. Tiny little detail. I'm trying to make out what is on the bed that's kind of lumpy there. A bottle of water. I should say a cup of water. What the? Is that a cat? 
I don't feel too well. I'm a bit dizzy. I feel like I'm gonna pass out. Where am I? I thought I was on the metro train heading south. What's going on? He leans backwards onto the bed, sighing heavily. He sits up again, wringing his hands in his lap. He doesn't seem to notice that his legs are replaced with a transparent mist. Wait, what happened to my legs? Why am I in a hospital room? Nurse, help me! He hears no response, just the sound of his internal thoughts as he turns his head, looks at the cat, and confused. I'm sorry, I just have no idea what's going on. What's your name, little one? Can you understand what I'm saying? Maybe you need a friend, too. He seems to notice his papers on the floor as he scowls at them. He then points at the papers with a sorrowful look on his face. Hey, little friend, can you give me my papers? I know there are four of them somewhere. Got one... Oh, maybe that was what I was supposed to be collecting. Alright. Pretty sure I, I just checked this room, didn't I? How quickly I forget. I don't know if they're going to be sparkling or... They're going to be sparkling. Answers that. The floors have a shiny look to them. They almost look wet, like we're standing in water. <laughs> I think it's just the reflection, but... Oh, butterfly. Oh. No, the very, I think this room had, yeah, this is that thing that it said interact and I don't know why I was interacting with it. Oh, over here. Yeah, both. the run. Leo uh, A. Russo, uh, date of death as stated was August 17, 2019, New Hope Hospital, apprentice architect, accident, severe trauma to vital organs, brain, heart, liver, damage to spinal column, and 24 years old. I always tried to do better. It was all so easy until I started college. I just thought I could handle it, but I ended up alone. At least I have you here with me. Two faceless figures walk into the room. They seem to be Leo's parents. Leo looks at them and realizes he had died and wasn't alone. The parents talk about how his statue is going to be put up around the school. 
What? I can't believe it! They're putting up my statue? I just wish I could have spent that time with my parents. He looks at the Reaper, who has appeared. Can I... The Reaper makes a nodding gesture. He signals the player to leave the room. Oh, we're the player. <laughs> we're not the cat, we're the player. Oh, oh man. <laughs> That's a way to knock the immersion out, isn't it? <laughs> We can join our mother in the afternight, or let the Reaper retire. Oh, we have a choice? Let the Reaper retire. I guess. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> that is the end of that. <laughs> It was a sweet and short little game. <laughs> like I said, completely free to play, <laughs> available on Steam. All right, I played through uh, again. Uh, so let's see if we can join our mother in the afterlife. <laughs> there we go. Thank you guys for keeping me company. I'll be back soon with something else. <laughs>